Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, today's video is still a drawing tutorial, but might be a little bit different. Since Earth Day is coming up, I thought I would do the Earth or the world. Um, granted, this is uh, really simplified and easy to learn. So hopefully you could get a bowl of titration circle or could get like a, a cup or something, depending on what size you want of the circle, but I'm going to share with you some examples and the supplies I will be using in today's video. Um, if you have any questions about the supplies or anything like that, just leave them in the comments down below. Um, for the supplies, I'm just going to keep it simple for you guys and um, therefore, like any range of supplies you like to have, watercolors, color pencils, anything. Um, yeah, so I will say it's been a good minute since I sat down in front of the camera like this. Um, I have been really busy with the ukulele, taking care of myself, and Animal Crossing has taken over my life. So, um, just want to say that real quick. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Anna from Anna's Drawing Channel. I usually do supplies. I usually do drawing tutorials. Um, me drawings and you know all the stores and vlogs and i'm trying to also add music on this channel as well so uh, with the ukulele and everything so um yeah so if you're new here welcome and if you're returning welcome back so i'm gonna go ahead and get started in the video i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the materials i am just using a sharpie i am also using crayon markers i'm also using Combo brush pens. Um, I'm only going to be using the green though, I think. And depending on how much blue I have left, um, I will be using the Tombo brush pen. But other than that, you can find these supplies around the house or sure your kids will have them or whatever. But um, so here's an example of the world, and here's more sketches I have done, and you can turn it to a globe if you wanted to. There's just a lot you can do with it. We're just going to keep it simple. Turn him into a little character. Um, here's another drawing I had done to keep it simple for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Tell me so far which is your favorite drawing tutorial. Because I've done a ballerina. I've done um, how to draw clowns. And this is like uh, Earth Day and Earth tutorial. So let me know what your favorite tutorial is. I've also done a St. Patrick's Day pumpkin tutorial, so um, there's lots of tutorials on the channel, so let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, turn the notification bell on so you won't miss a video, and let's get started. Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. So, I am going to make uh, anchor points, or dots, if you will, on the paper, so that way you can judge on how big you want your world to be. I'm going to have a dot on the top of my paper like that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, I think you can. And then I'm going to make it like around the bottom of the paper around here. Um, you can also, I want to, before we draw the circle, think ahead. Um, before you draw the circle, you can turn your paper if you need to or um, rotate your paper or angle it however you want to if you're not using a bowl or a um, cup or something for your circle I'm just going to eyeball it um, so we're going to do that I'm just going to keep the coloring simple as well I'm not going to add any shading or anything I just want this tutorial to be simple for you guys um, easy to follow along and we'll turn him into a character at the end so we're going to draw the circle and again can rotate your paper i'm going to rotate it this way um easy way to not go all the way around at first you can draw curves see i'm turning the paper to help me um you can use it as a guide like i'm doing here and then i'm going to bring make sure it's on frame for you guys bring it around Obviously, it's not big as the anchor point as I made it, but it's still a circle and I'm happy with. Um, when, if you're doing it in pencil, you want to use your arm and go around and around and around with your pencil instead of just 
doing it with a marker. Um, that way you can get the best line if you need to uh, for your circle. So that's how I like to do it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the eyes as usual for the drawing tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyes and I'm just going to make more circles, a medium size circle, like so. I'm going to come over here, do the same thing. I'm not, notice I didn't color in right away because if I color in right away, then this eye has a chance of not being matching to that eye. So that's a trick to do at the same time. Um, you want to draw little highlights in them. I usually like to do two highlights, um, like so. And then now it gets to color them in. If you want to make uh, him a girl, just add eyelashes. I'm going to make the earth a girl because of mother nature, but that's just me. So we're going to add eyelashes. I'm going to shade in the eyes as well. We're going to come below the eyes and we're going to draw the smile. You can make it big, you can make it cartoony, you can make it however you want to. I'm going to make it cute smile like so you can make it girly by adding a hair bow to it and i think i'm going to do that to make it easy for you guys um so i'm going to draw an oval at the top of the earth and then i'm going to draw a little curve um around the oval and then to make it 3D, I'm just going to bring another oval in. And then we're going to do the same on this side. There we go. So now it just looks like a character with no earth um, traits or anything. So we're going to make it the land for the earth and the water. So we're going to draw some land. Again, this is not accurate. This is not... Um, regarding the actual earth. This is not realistic. Um, so we're going to draw land here and then we'll come over here and do the same thing. Um, so we have your water, this open space is your water here. So pay attention to that. And these land marks are your land or your grass area, I should say. So. Um, again, if guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below to be patient, but honestly, you won't miss the video. And let's get started with the coloring. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So, I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't know when this is going to be posted. I know it's going to be posted near Earth Day and, and everything, but, um, let me be honest and real with you guys. A lot has changed for me. Um, I don't know if it's going to be for the better or not, um, I'm just being real honest with you. So if I sound a little down in this video, that is why. I'm okay, I'm doing fine, I'm doing great, I'm improving on my health and everything, and my health is fine. It's just a lot going on right now, so, um, I really don't have much else to say without going into great detail with it, but it's due to issues um that's been going on for a long time but everything's fine everything's good so um therefore there might be more videos than usual but no promises depending on my mood that day but um you know it's gotta go with the flu so if i saw a little down and this point's over i'm so sorry um that is why so anyways um back to the chipper stuff today uh, we are doing the earth, and I am coloring the hair bow here, um, or the bow, and I will do green for the land, and, um, ocean, water, blue, obviously, so I'll be doing that for the earth. If you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know down in the comments down below. I had wanted to keep this, uh, tutorial simple for you guys, easy to follow, and I hope you guys enjoy it for a day um 
hopefully I, I will do an Easter Bunny tutorial soon. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn your notification bell on so you won't miss a video. And guys, thank you for watching. Bye, guys. So we're at the end of this tutorial. You can skip this part if you want to, if you're happy with your art. But right now we're going to make her a character. So I am going to draw the arms and the legs to make it cute and turn her into a character if you want to. Just to have a little fun with it. But I'm going to start with the arms. We're going to draw the arms a little bit like so. Just draw angled lines like this. Um, and then we're going to draw the hand. I'm going to draw it like a mitten if you want to, um, just to keep it simple for you guys. And then we're going to color this in. And of course the hand is wrong or, um, I'm just going to, cause it looks, okay, um, so if I made a mistake on the hand, I am so sorry, but uh, that's what you get for adding our mask and not with the sketch. So I'm going to do that, color in the arm, and then now we're going to go ahead and where this anchor point is coming in is actually perfect for the legs. So I'm going to make a leg here. We're going to bring another leg back. Draw the foot. I'm just making it oval again. Color it in. And we're going to make another leg as well. And there we go. If you want to color the hands to match the hair bow and the shoes as well, we're going to do that. I'm going to do it live for you guys, or quote, quote, live, because I'm still filming. It's not really live. But I'm going to do the hands, uh, like match the hair bow, and also the shoes as well. Just something real quick. And there you go. I'm going to color the tongue as well. Um, and there is your earth. I hope you guys have a great day. I thank you guys for joining with this fun tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. And if you want to, subscribe down below for more tutorials. And thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And turn notification bell on so you won't miss a video. And bye guys.